Greetings crew members, today we're going to be starting a new video series where I'm going to be playing the classic Space Flight Simulator series Wing Commander through its entire run. Uh, this would be Wing Commander 1 through 5. Uh, I don't really have much background with this uh, video game except to say I've always been curious about this franchise and it missed me because I never really had a PC that was able to play this series as a little kid uh, and it always it came out just a little too early for me or a little you know I was born a little too late for it as it were uh, but I've always been curious about it it's the granddaddy of the space sim series uh, the space fighter series you see its influence in a lot of games today like uh, Elite Dangerous or No Man's Sky but it has a storied history it started out as a DOS based system the first released in 1990 the last of the series was a uh, simple arcade shooter released in 2007 but the game series hasn't really had a major release since the fifth in the series which came out in 1997 so for about seven years this series was one of the premier uh, space flight sims in video games it also ended up with a pretty huge cast later on starting with the third in the series introducing actors like Mark Hamill and Malcolm McDowell to take on roles uh, so we got some full motion video to look forward to but for today we're just gonna start with Wing Commander 1 uh, the classic original space flight series keep an eye out for future installments of this let's play really look forward to experiencing this series uh, forgive me if I'm terrible at it I'm using a modern PC to play uh, what is now a 30 year old video game but I'm looking forward to it and I think it'll be a lot of fun okay this is some real old school vibes yes oh I got killed right away oh no my last name uh, you know let's pay homage to another venerable sci-fi series and name him Wilco for Roger Wilco from the Space Quest series and call sign uh, yeah we are danger boy danger boy coming in for the save okay yes all right, hello. Talk to Shot Glass. Uh, he looks like a friendly neighborhood bartender. Hello, Shot Glass. Belly up, friend, and take a load off. You must be Danger Boy. I'm Shot Glass. Welcome aboard the Claw. Used to be a pilot myself. Till the flea bag shot me up so bad I couldn't fly. I guess I flew with most every pilot on the claw. So if you want to know how one pilot or another flies, old shot glass is the guy to ask. Look at his smile. He looks friendly. Shot glass knows everybody. Stop by when you're off duty and we'll talk more. That's the end of my script. Ah, oh, look at these two. Paladin and Angel. Ooh. He gets plus two to constitution. I recall once when I was just a lieutenant like yourself there. We were flying patrol or accord and the fourth planet in the alliance system. Oh, are you Irish? These four Kilrathi Salathi came zooming in on the sun at their in with us at the sun at their backs. What's the point, Monsieur? Is there one we? Oh, she's French. I was leading up to it, lass. Oh, he's Scottish. That day we learned that the Salathi had always turned to the left. That a Salathi will always turn to the left? It's got something to do with the way our engines and ducks are arranged. Well, that seems like a, a flaw in your plane. So when you tail a Salathi, watch to the left. That's where I'll go when E makes is break. Was this written by Cliss Claremont? Okay. Uh, let's do a little flight training, because I haven't really... So this is the training thing. I haven't really tried. So let's select an enemy. This is... Uh, whatever this is. Uh, 
Oh my. Oh, it's the keys. It's the keys. Oh my. If this is gonna be the whole game, I might have a problem, guys. I get good at it, though. I'll try. I'll try to get good. Call back to my ancestors who played games before me. Oh, a missile. Nice. Any, any, no? Get on him. Stay on target. Oh. Uh, kind of looks like a Maquis fighter, or uh, the Federation fighters from the Dominion War. As kind of, I wonder if it's an homage. Well, it wouldn't be an homage because they hadn't shown up yet. But maybe it's not by the same person. I gotta focus here because I'm doing terribly. No internal damage. That's good. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You're banking to the left. Is this the guy, what the guy was talking about? How they always go left? Oh my god. Okay. Um. Maybe this is like designed for the joystick. I blew up, guys. Let's go with the same guy. I think I got a better handle on it now. Nice. Much better this time. Oh, shit. There's more. Okay. Uh... One missile or two missile? No. Oh, it's inverted, is why. Yeah. No, you missed. I got him. No, I'm getting him. The, I'm getting him right on his wings. Ah, I died. Game over. Well, now that I have a handle on the flight mechanics, let's see if we can go do a mission. So this is the barracks. My medals, of which I have none currently. All right, let's, uh, mission briefing, Enyo system, 600 hours. We've got a lot of work to do, people. Wow, the tiger, seven hours ago at 800, Blue Devil Squadron with first patrol. Your killer bees have the next shift. You rookies will be flying with experienced pilots on your first mission. My squadron's called the killer bees. Uh, I want the rookies to fly as wing leaders. You vets keep an eye on the kids out there. You'll probably all die. Here are the assignments. Danger Boy, you're leading Alpha Wing. Spirit will fly in your wing. She's quiet, but she knows the ropes. Ooh, love interest. You're really holding. Okay, you're the wing leader, but if Spirit talks, you be sure and listen. Got it? Yes, sir. Oh, my blue hair. Good. Here's your patrol plan. Computer, display Alpha. I'm going to check the possible jump points. It's about 2,000 clicks out. There are asteroids near the nav points 2 and 3, so stay on course. 
Any questions? Yes, many. Lots of questions. Uh, how do you fly your plane? Uh, how many missiles do I get? Yes, Commander. <laughs> yeah, kill them, hopefully. That's what you should do. Engage. If the odds look good, let Danger Boy make the call. Yeah, thank you for that advice. I was terrible in the training sim, so hopefully I'm much better in this. Because if this is no training sim. I like this music. Oh. Okay, this is pretty boss. I can see why this series... Uh... Oh. I hope I don't need that. Yeah, light him up. Oh, it's the round ones that look like Cylon Raiders. Nice. Oh, damn! Where are you? There you are. Yeah, take you out, boy. I'm a hot dog pilot, you see? There goes a the missile. I'm getting attacked here from the side. Shit, 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 shit. No, did I die? Okay. Right, do I have to watch a whole military funeral every time I die? Probably have to go back and restart this whole damn game, right? Yeah. And just a little bit of guidance. Like, you just, you don't really need to move it too much off center. It's weird. I feel like this is better suited for a joystick as a series. But I don't have a joystick. Especially one from 1999. Or 1990, rather. I haven't even tried it, but I bet you a modern Xbox controller would not work with this. Whatever, now I know not to fire my missiles randomly. Nice! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. I see you. Well then don't get in my way. You flew in front of me. Nice. One more. One more left. He's on my flank. There we go. He's up here. There he is. Alright, you're going down. And other cliche dialogue from action movies. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Mm. Victory! You know, back in the day, they used to come with an instruction book. That's why they didn't have the need to tell you what the menu system was. Like, am I heading in the right direction? Where'd my map marker go? The hell was that? Oh, there we go. Okay. I have two missiles left. Pretty good.
Well, this game is certainly accurate about the fact that space is a very wide, very big place that takes a while to get anywhere. I'm going 300 kilometers per second. I like this. It's very Battlestar Galactica. Ooh, enemy ships. Take them out. Get ahead of him. Yeah. Fox away. Ah, uh, he splashed it. I'm talking like a fighter pilot. Or at least fight. Yeah. Oh no! Try to take out my boy. Where are you? There you are. There you are. Yeah, you don't stand a chance now. Sorry, I once again I hit my partner. I'm still learning. Okay. Yeah, come on. Ah, uh, okay. This guy's being a pain in the butt. All right, come on. No, 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 no. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, we're in a death ball. Did I get him? I think I did. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this video game. I enjoy the uh, seafoam green painted interior. Nice. Destination back to the tiger's claw. It's called the tiger's claw, not the tiger claw. Oh, I'm gonna fly past all these asteroids, damn. If I swear to God, if there's some kind of BS landing game that is impossible to do, a la Top Gun for the SNES. I think Top Gun was on the NES. Either way. It's like trying to land in Microsoft Flight Sim. Ah, there's the Tiger's Claw. No. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. Objective reach, yeah. Uh, don't crash into the ship. That would be a... <sighs> that would be an important thing to not do. So now I'm back to the tiger's claw. I don't... What? What's going on? I found it. I found the controls for Wing Commander on the PC. So I'm going to put that shit right here so I can still... All right, this is obtuse, plus and minus, decelerate. Am I supposed to dock at the Tiger Claw? I'm gonna figure this game out. Apparently, a keyboard is a terrible choice for this game. This game is straight up just supposed to be played on some kind of joystick, so... Uh, but they said just to request landing, fly towards the Tiger Claw at full speed. No? Alright, so... I'm going to try this again. I did a little bit of research now into how the controls work as well as uh, found out that I can use an Xbox One controller on the, uh, on, the, on the PC for this game. It's not perfect. The joystick works a lot better than trying to use the mouse, but 
I still have to use some keys on the keyboard for acceleration and communication. But that's okay, it makes me feel like I'm driving a spaceship, which is what this game is supposed to do. Uh, but let's get back to it, shall we? I'm gonna have to redo this level again, because uh, I want you to see the cutscene that happens when you finally land the ship, which is something that took me a while to figure out how to do. Uh, Yes, yes, it's all very cool. We see this again and again, over and over and over again. I do like the designs of the spaceships, or at least the fighter ships. They look pretty cool. Everything's very colorful. So yeah, much, much more refined controls now. It's still inverted, the stick, but... Alright, let's, let's do it. And take her down to 320 KPS, because that seems... I had a problem with hitting asteroids earlier. So I have one Javelin missile, and then two of these Dart missiles. The Javelin is a lock-on, and the Dart seem to just be point and shoot. Which seems like a very useless weapon when you're dealing with the vast distances of space. But maybe it's like a... Like, there we go. See, it's away. A nice. Ah. Okay. Good deal. And then I have to press... S on my keyboard. No, D. C is communications. N is the map. The navigational map. And I can nav to... Yep. There we go. See, I'm figuring out this archaic video game. At least this accurately represents the distances in space by... Having everything be so goddamn far away. Oh, asteroids. I hate these asteroids. I kept hitting these and dying earlier when I was testing out the game. No! Go away, asteroids. Maybe that's what the missiles are for. Flying and avoiding all these giant space rocks. Oh, damn it! Did I fuck up? Uh. There we go. I reached destination. Nothing here, right? Except asteroids that want to fuck up my ship. There we go. Navigate to this place. Avoid these damn asteroids. So far the asteroids have been more pain uh, than the Kilrathi have. Maybe I should scale back on my speed a little. I know it'll take longer to get there, but... I won't blow up my ship doing it. Yes, enemy ships. Well, that's because my computer's communication systems are damaged. Pump the volume. That's really annoying, that thing that's happening, because my computer's damaged. But... Let me spin around. Nice, I'm on his tail. He's flipped, though. Nice. Yeah, come on. Take him out. No? Where'd he go? Did I lose him? They really, like, they really tried to think of, like, how your spaceship would be affected by things like, uh, you know, damage. Causing computer damage is just causing problem with my systems now. So, you know, I can't even bring up the navigational menu system because my computer's damaged. So I guess I'm just heading to this point. I don't really know. This game's a little obtuse. I have to say, though, for something that, like, was the first of its genre, it does feel pretty fully formed. You have a lot of uh, thought put into the way these ships fly, the sib systems of these ships... Uh, the different stresses and factors of battle. Like, I can tell when I'm doing hard banks and turns. I can see my speed going up and down. There also has a fuel gauge here that I have to keep an eye on. This is thrilling. Oh, objective reach. Now I need to head back to the Tiger Claw. Or the Tiger's Claw. That's obtuse. You can just call it the Tiger Claw. It's a claw from a tiger, not the tiger's claw, possessive. 
Maybe someone was pedantic about it. Maybe it was called Tiger Claw. Like they painted it on the side, but then there was this one really pedantic, you know, uh, grammar head who just like went on a rogue mission to include the apostrophe. Ah, there she is. There's the Tiger Claw. Open communication to start landing sequence. Yes, clear to land. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what I looked up in a tutorial. I really dig this chiptune music, by the way. It's really good. Uh, I hope this works. I hope this doesn't... Don't crash, don't crash. Slow the hell down a bit. Where's the tiger claw? There it is. There we go. I did it. I, th I had no idea how I did it, but I did it. Look at that. I'm coming in for a landing. Yeah. You sure got yourself shot up, sir. That's from all the bullet holes, yep. Mission debriefing. <clears throat> Welcome back, danger boy. Looks like you survived your first trip out. I am a danger boy. He is very able pilot. He is a very able pilot, Commander. It is an honor to fly on his wing. Aw, thank you, Spirit. That's high praise coming from Spirit. You should be proud, danger boy. In any case, you flew well out there. I've reviewed the mission report from your flight recorder. Did it have the part about how I crashed into that asteroid and screwed up the computer? Let's go over the mission report. You got three of the hairballs, danger boy. That seems like a slur. They're cat people, right? And Spirit came up empty. Wow, Spirit. Way to bring down the team. That's all. Then dismissed. I shouldn't do that. You backed me up, Spirit. I should back you up. Oh, I'm back in the, uh... I'm back in the pilot's bay. Hello. Who are you? You're shot glass, right? Yeah. Here you flew with Spirit yesterday, danger boy. She's quite a little thing, but she's a heck of a flyer. That's inappropriate. That's an inappropriate comment about your crew member. She's a rock steady, follows orders, and doesn't fire until she says she's had a shot. And I'm always glad to have spirit on my wing when I was still flying. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure she's not glad about those inappropriate comments, Shot Glass. Also, was your name Shot Glass when you were a pilot? That seems like a red flag, right? That's probably why you got all shot up by, I'm not going to call the slur that you call the Kilrathi. Like, I mean, just because we're at war with them doesn't mean we need to degrade them as a people with unnecessary slurs. Uh, there is a Spirit and Hunter. And Spirit's got some kind of Vulcan liar. Konnichiwa, Wilko-san. Please take a seat. Oh, no. Oh, if I may say so, you are doing quite well. Colonel Sama is most pleased with your performance thus far. I I didn't know she was Asian until she started talking like this. There was no need to pra praise me before him, though, honorable second lieutenant. <coughs> the credit for a mission success is due its leader, not its assistance. I feel like this dialogue is going to get me kicked off YouTube. I see by your expression that you do not believe me. I assure you I speak with what's in my heart. Yeah, no, I, I got that. You just, you did a great job. I'm not going to talk to you right now again because I'm afraid you're going to say more stereotypically Japanese things. So, Hunter, you're danger boy, right? Well, they call me Hunter, mate. Good day. Uh, he's Australian. Spirit Air was telling me about your tumble with the hairballs. Again, that's a slur. Sounds like you really mixed it up out there. That's the way it is, isn't, mate. That's that's the way it... Whatever. Just you and some hairball twisting about trying to get a missile lock. Yeah. Stop using that slur. Can we call him Kilrathi? That's their name. Formations, uniforms, metal, wingmen. That's all sheep dip. Sheep dip? All in Bruce can count out there is in, is in himself and in his missiles. So, Okay. Good advice from Hunter. Alright. Hunter, 
is Australian. I'm sensing a real theme where each cast member represents a different ethnicity. I don't know if I'm on board for that, especially if it's going to be handled like a circa 1989 X-Men comic written by Chris Claremont. Alright, uh, I need to save this campaign. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look at my medals. Ooh. Second Lieutenant Wilco, a.k.a. Danger Boy. Enyo System. Dateline 2654. Is that... It's the year 2654? That seems kind of advanced, but okay. Uh, I guess if you... I just go by the Star Trek timeline, which is highly optimistic. Alright. Mission briefing. Enyo system. 4,500 hours. Epsilon wing is in danger boy. And you'll be escorting a Draymond class transport to its jump point. Computer display Epsilon. Let's take a look at your flight plan. You'll rendezvous with the transport upon launch. Now he's British. He's going to be a British commander. Escort it to nav points one. That's not really a nice British accent. And on to nav two where we'll initiate jump sequence. Once it's jumped out, you'll return by the most direct route. Okay, so we've got to escort this ship. Make sure that the transport jumps out. So i got to protect this transport until it gets to the jump point. I don't want you leaving her to chase down bogeys. If the enemy retreats, you stay with the transport. Questions? Yes, sir. Why is now one so far out of the way? That's a fair question. There's an old asteroid field between the Tiger's Claw and the jump point. Ah! A fighter might navigate it, but the Draymond Sport would never make it through. Anything else? Alright then, let's get to work. Squadron dismissed! Oh, everybody's dramatically standing up. Oh, more running. I like the running. Yeah. Alright, we gotta we gotta protect the Battlestar Galactica. I mean the Draymond here. Oh shit. Uh pull back, pull back on the throttle a little. Pull back on the throttle a little. I don't want to crash into it. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. I appreciate the graphics in this. I know that they're basically going by 8-bit. Uh, yeah, no, this is definitely 8-bit. But it's... They look good. And Javelin. And my laser cannon is the same. I haven't been able to upgrade. Is there any sort of upgrade system in this game? Where you can like upgrade your... your your fighter or do they just give you a cooler newer fighter later down the line I'm interested to find out oh and I also learned that you can look to your sides ooh look there's my pilot or my wingman there's spirit right there hi spirit no fighters yet no enemy fighters hmm. excitement Non-stop action! You'll pay for the whole seat, but you'll only use the edge. This is like being stuck in traffic. Still there, Spirit? Yeah, she's still there. She's got my back. Trustworthy wingman. Oh, I'm not traveling at any speed, that's why. There we go. Yeah! Hit you right on your belly. Eat javelin missile. Take him out. <sighs> Splash one bogey. Alright, this bogey here. Oh no, I'm gonna boost my speed a little.
That's the cargo ship, right? Yeah, the Draymond. Oof, she's taking damage. Well, I better boost up to catch her again. Just seeing if there's any other commands I can give Spirit. That's a cool system. I like that. Uh, this Also, this ship, I know, like, this way it kind of looks like the Mandalorian ship. I think it's supposed to fly this way, though. But who, who cares? There is no up or down in space. Up or down is a choice in space. You took a lot of damage, though. Just come up smoothly right behind you. Match your speed. Very nice. Very nice. I am... I am becoming a wing commander. Capable of... Daring feats. And expert flying. No more hitting asteroids for me. Yeah, no doubt. Stop flying in front of my bullets, then. Nice! Fuck, he's attacking the Draymond. Okay, come on. Taking you out. Taking you out, taking you out, taking you out, taking you out! Come on, you're gonna die soon! Just die! Just die! Me and my girl are gonna shoot you down! Just me, my wigman, and her $40 billion aircraft. Yeah. Fuck. I gotta get up there. No, you fuck. Did I fail? Was that uh, game over for me? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. I think my ship exploded. Because of that kill Rathy. My commander told me not to... Not to fly off and chase other bad guys, but to stick to the ship and protect it. And I didn't. And now they're all dead. And I have to fly backwards. In shame. This game really makes you fly all the way back to home base and then land in shame. Can I replay the mission? Thank you, Ambulance, for once again starting my birds screaming. I can't even fucking pause this game. Like... Yeah. I return in shame and defeat, but still alive. You got away pretty clean, sir. Yeah, say that for the Draymond. Mission debriefing. This is where I get yelled at, right? Pretty hectic out there, eh? Yes, sir. It got pretty busy. Well, let's review the mission report. Danger boy, you took out three Kilrathi. And Spirit got one of them. We lost the Draymond. That's all then. Dismissed. Oof. Cold. I failed. I lost the Draymond. Let's talk to this. Let's talk to Shot Glass. Let's commiserate with old Shot Glass. He'll, he'll pour us a stiff one. And tell us that there's another day to fight. And at least I'm alive. That's the important thing. That's Iceman and Knight over there. Knight's a darned reliable pilot. A solid shot, a steady flyer. Not flashy at all, he's the sort of craftsman. Gets the job done, though. 
<coughs> Iceman, though, now he's an artist. Best pilot on the tiger's claw. Lives to fly and to fight, and he's totally ruthless and completely deadly. Some of the pilots say he's got Freon for blood. That sounds bad. At least there's way. At least that's where he got his call sign. Uh, I thought he was just a fan of Top Gun and Val Kilmer's performance in that film. Which, no, Top Gun was out already by this point. The game is wrong. Uh, but let's talk to Iceman and Knight. Oh my God, Iceman's polishing a revolver at the table. Danger boy, they call me Iceman. Don't let night fool you. This skims a gun heavy slug. Forget finesse, just head straight in. Guns blaring. I think it's blazing, but okay. Uh, give me a ship that takes skill. A raptor, even a hornet. Or one of those new rapiers. If half of what they say is true, the rapier is a true artist's ship. Ooh, the rapier sounds cool. Which, now that I remember it, was the name of the spaceships in the movie. Which is something that I've not uh, mentioned yet about this series. There is a movie from 1999 starring Freddie Prince Jr. and Matthew Lillard. Because they were there was a period of time where they were legally obligated to be in all the movies together. Uh, let's talk to Knight. Knight's just enjoying his food while Iceman casually pulls out a revolver and pol polishes it. And seems to be giving some pretty mean side-eye to Knight. This seems like a very stressful relationship right now between the two of them. What did what did Knight do to Iceman? Alright, let's talk to Knight. Danger Boy, right? I'm Knight. Welcome to the Killer Bees. You're flying a hornet right now. Ever flown a scimitar? It isn't quite as fast or nimble as a hornet. But she's got twice the armor, as well as heavier guns. And she handles like a centurion mud pig. Iceman here will try to tell you the speed and handling will save your butt. But I'll take an extra three centimeters of Durasteel plating any day. I feel like this series was really written by sci-fi nerds, because it just keeps dropping Durasteel. Okay. Alright, let's uh, enter the barracks. Let's save. I have saved. Uh, so you should know that apparently you can fail missions and still continue, in which case I'm probably still going to be failing a lot of missions and continuing. Oh no, I have to do it again. Down, 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 all right, this time I'm going to stick with this, this transport vessel. I don't know what the Draymond is, uh, is doing, but, like, is it's a cargo ship, or it's full of people, or it's got an important dignitary on board? I guess I'm too low level of person in the military to know the details. It's not important for me to know, it's just important for me to do and to fly. <laughs> no, back off, back off. So I really don't like how you have to go back to the hangar, talk to the dude who tells you you failed, and then you go back to the barracks, and then you go back to the mission briefing to do the same mission briefing again. It seems like you could just, well, do what any modern video game does and just say you failed, restart. But this isn't that. <clears throat> this is from an era of video games where they're going to make you do everything the hard way. I'm just getting now it's the honor to obey thing. I was wondering why she was talking like a Klingon. It's because... She's Japanese, and Japanese people in video games from this era were basically just Klingons. Yeah, alright. Splash one kill. And the missile's on its tail. Where's my... How's my other ship doing? Nobody's attacking it? Good. Okay. 
It's trying to leave me off course from the ship. I gotta get back to my ship. There she is. There's the Draymond. I see what you're doing, Kilrathi. Very sneaky. Back off, back off, back off, back off. Where is he? I'm gonna get back to the Draymond. She's taking some damage. But she's still flying. Line back up behind her. She's got some damage, but... I hope everything will be okay. Here's the Draymon. There it is. Oops. I hit it. Yeah, die. 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 Why won't you die? Yeah! Pull back. Whoa. Yes. You gotta watch that throttle. Did it just jump? It just jumped. Yay! Alright. Let's uh let's head back to the tiger's claw. Full speed ahead. Woo! Watch out for that uh asteroid field though. I don't want to blow up on my way back to landing on the ship. Astro No! Really? Fuck you, wing commander. Yeah, he's dead. I'm dead. I get it. That's what happens. I'm dead. Ugh. That is my first night of playing Wing Commander for the PC. The very first Wing Commander, a uh, DOS-based game from 1990. Uh, initial thoughts. I'm really surprised at how fully formed it is. Uh, it really feels thought out. The controls, once you get them working, are pretty intuitive. I like the setting. I like the characters so far. They're very cartoonish and one-dimensional. And, oof. Man, some of the representation in this game is just above a propaganda poster. But, all in all... Uh, I think it's good. I look forward to playing more and getting through this series. I'm interested in the story of this series so far. And I want to fly some cool new planes. The rapier and the uh, scimitars sound pretty cool. I like planes that are named after swords. Don't forget to uh, hit like and subscribe and uh, hit the bell for notifications if you want to see more content. If you aren't already subscribed, if you are, thank you very much. We appreciate your support. Uh, don't forget to pass this around too. let uh, other people know about our channel and if they like our content I'm going to be continuing with this Wing Commander series as well as uh, more film reviews and TV reviews and uh, more Let's Plays. we got Bioshock coming up as well. Uh, as always, stay safe and be who you are.